I'm in the booth of a company called Special Needs Wear, and I'm talking to Ankit Agarwal, and he's going to tell us about a, uh, a pretty cool-looking product. Great. Thank you, Allison. Um, we're the creators behind Autismate, which is an integrated communication and behavioral learning uh, platform for individuals with autism. Okay, um, I'm going to start zooming down on the app because that's great. Good, it's, you're pretty face, but let's look great. at the app let's, here. Let's take a look at the app here. And the way the app works is uh, you can create uh, these interactive visual tools that help develop both communication and behavioral uh, skills. So, for example, you, the idea here, we're in the ho home location, you can create interactive scenes of your own house. So, this is so that's supposed to be your own your kitchen. Your own kitchen, your own bathroom, your own bedroom. Right, my house is not that clean. <laughs> and you can tap on the kitchen, for example, and then uh, uh, make requests or uh, use these hotspots to make the scene interactive. So let's go open up the fridge and you can request something to eat. Um, for example, a banana. May I have a banana? Oh, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it just said, may I have a banana? So this is for the person with autism to go in and say, I know food's in the kitchen, food's in the fridge, I yep. know where the bananas are. Yep, exactly. A, a nonverbal individual who's early, an early communicator can use these visual scenes very uh, early on to begin communicating. Where they might not be able to say banana or say kitchen exactly. or refrigerator. Exactly. Without, without really having some of those language capabilities, right off the bat you're able to communicate. Then we progress you to more advanced forms of communication. Um, here you're starting to see a choice board of different options that you might have in your kitchen. And then ultimately to a, a sentence building approach um, where you can create uh, these interactive sentences to, to um, request something to eat. So those who are only listening, we, we started with a picture of the kitchen where we tapped on the fridge and then tapped on bananas. Now we've gone up to where we've got a grid of like, what is it, five by four different options here of what to request to eat. They're little drawings now. Correct, correct. And this is more advanced. Um, but requires kind of an understanding of language, and um, and the idea is we progress you through, through the system. Additionally, we have a number of behavioral learning tools like videos for video modeling. So now we're looking at a, uh, a video of someone washing their hands. That's correct. Um, and uh, uh, additionally, we provide uh, visual schedules. So here we're doing a visual schedule of brushing your teeth. No, no, I, hang on. I, if I'm the kid that's uh, walking around with this thing requesting a banana, I'm never going to push that brush my teeth button, right? That's correct. That, that'd be something that you know you'd want to use together with uh, the parent or the caregiver, caregiver and uh, uh, kind of use these visual prompts to instruct uh, what are the, the steps to properly brush your teeth. So first you're going to get the toothpaste. Then you're going to get your toothbrush. Then you're going to put the toothpaste on the toothbrush. And like this, you can kind of sequence through the different steps. Um, we have uh, interactive features like a visual timer. So now we're going to brush our teeth for one minute. And a minute! Mom! And, 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 and the uh, child has the ability to kind of get the visual cue of when that minute is over. Oh, nice, nice. So what we're seeing is a picture of the kid brushing the teeth and a uh, kind of a timer thing in green going around yeah, the clock as a clock. Exactly. And then at the end, I get the toys. Exactly, and then you can work towards an incentive or a goal. This instant, the toys. So I'm going to show now. This is very interesting. I've never seen anything quite like this for uh, for autism before. Usually, it's more static storyboard looking kind of things. And to see pictures of your own house. Yeah. Like you said earlier, much more contextual, right? Yeah, it's much more contextual. You're bringing in the environmental cues that an individual with autism can relate to. Um, there's research behind this, and and uh, and it's it's just much much more easier to understand, um, for, especially for early communicators. Very cool. Well, thank you very much, Ingrid. How would someone find out more about uh, Autismate? You can uh, check out our website at www.autismate.com uh, and uh, learn more about uh, the great new, this great new app. All right. Very very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.